There you are. Aileen is getting curious about her online profile. That's really great, though, how they create, like, a profile like that. You know, not like the standard, ugh, I like long walks on the yeah, beach. Yeah, the usual. And I like red wine and, you know, oh, like good talks. You don't and, like that? Like that. But I wouldn't want a picture on it. Like, I don't want my picture out there. But, yes, but they use avatars. They don't use real pictures. Like, so I'm going to have to pick someone based on an avatar? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have to see a picture to see if I like someone. Yeah, that's true. But normally I would agree. But the thing is with this, it's not, they use all this information. So it's, it's like a real human. It's like a person. It's not just like a robot or something. How do they do that? Well, they select all these similarities between your friends. And with these similarities, they make a new avatar. Actually, I can show you yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah, if you're interested. Look. <laughs> That's She's crazy. Is, and is that a real person? Does that person No, no, this is, this is an avatar, so it's not a real person. Online and offline identities are not exactly the same. If you have an online identity or an electronic identity, much more information is added, basically more about behavior. So your location is added, uh, any tracks you do, things you watch, things you click on online. It's all added and becoming part of your online identity. Wait, can I use that picture to create a fake Facebook so I can harass my annoying loud neighbors? Oh, the, the ones upstairs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can. That yeah. would be so cool. <laughs> do you think it's legal to create a fake profile like that? Fake accounts, you are not allowed to make it on Facebook because according to their terms of service, you should use your real name. But according to the law, you can make fake accounts on social media as long as you don't use them for illegal purposes. Wait, let's get you on it. No. I'll send you a request to join right now. But there's really nothing in your phone that you don't want you know, them to have access to? No, of course, I have nothing to hide. I don't do anything illegal, so... You always have something to hide. So if you say, I've got nothing to hide, it's, um, it's a false argument. Um, if we have nothing to hide, we potentially wouldn't have a social life because we need to have something to hide in order to give meaning to different kinds of social relationships. So if I would share uh, secrets I would share with my friends, also with my mother or my employer, it would sort of um, reduce the meaningfulness of that particular kind of relationship I have with you as my friend. So um, yes, I always have something to hide. I don't do anything illegal, so why would they want to go for my phone? Well, remember when you were in Greece, those selfies on the beach? Mm, nice. Don't Greece? think you want those oh, on there. I don't mean those selfies. I yeah, would love okay. to see those. Yeah, maybe you're right about those, but for us, like... Well, everybody's got something to hide. You think? Yeah. Mm -hmm.